Um, of course, uh, it's, we know uh, the opponent, how we played in the last uh, two days. It was uh, not an easy game for us, but uh, of course we have to learn from the first leg fixture. We want to rectify our mistakes and uh, we want to you know, come out and uh, really play the real football that uh, Kenya deserves. So we just want to come here you know, with a positive mind. We want to start strong the game. The last fixture we didn't start strong, but uh, we want to try and contain uh, our opponents and try to get positive results. Well, of course, uh, it's a strong team. You can see all the departments, they are very strong. But uh, I believe this is football. And like I say, in the last fixture, we made a lot of mistakes. So it will boil down to what us, uh, we can do as a team. We don't want to focus so much on the opponents. We already saw them. We know we, they have weaknesses and uh, we'll try to use this in the, in, the, in the upcoming game. Can you tell us some of those weaknesses? Well, uh, we'll wait to see in the game. Are you still focused on the qualification game? And you still believe? Yeah, of course, of course, the table is quite open. You know, Cameroon is only seven points, three points away from us. Zimbabwe is only one point away from us. So it's all to play for. We cannot uh, uh, speak of uh, losing hope at this moment. You know, we have a game and we still have two more matches to play. So uh, it's uh, very important to keep focus, especially in this fixture. It's quite important. And like you see, Cameroon is one of the favorites team in the group. So uh, we want to come here also and uh, play really good football tomorrow. And uh, we believe that... Uh, uh, we are going really to post uh, a positive game compared to the last one. Playing without the public, how do you feel about that? Well, now for the longest time we've been playing like that, so it's nothing strange. So we, we are just going to approach the game with uh, much more uh, determination, you know, to play. It could be good if we could have played back home in Kenya, but, uh, you know, thanks to Uganda and their federation also for allowing to host us. And uh, we want to come here and uh, also represent East Africa in general. Yeah, first of all, uh, we came back from the game with a very big disappointment and uh, we tried to analyze what happened. So the biggest difference in the first match was the aggressivity of Cameroon comparing to us. So you saw us also in the statistics, they have uh, loose ball duels, I think around 70% for Cameroon. This was the biggest difference. In the same time, if you look at the other statistics they don't show really the result you know so we had a lot of uh, individual mistakes and there's one thing which I want to talk about is the first goal the penalty it's a joke you know uh, he cannot even touch the ball the ball is not changing direction the ref is not giving a yellow card for somebody he says he played with the hand but he don't give him yellow card so and I think it's highest time that uh, African football needs VAR you know, it's for all of us, not for one side, to make it clear. And especially if a team like us get in after eight minutes this kind of goal, of course, this has a lot of influence on the motivation of the team. So what happened, happened. Now, for me, it was important not the physical part, it's more the mental part after this disappointing result to put the boys together, to get motivated for the match. So and this is what we are trying to do now at the moment. So what do you think is going to be the difference uh, in tomorrow's game? Yeah, like I said, the biggest difference in last match was the uh, aggressivity. So Cameroon wanted more the match than you could feel it than us, to be honest. So and if if in any football match, the biggest and most important uh, statistic is a loose ball duels, you know. So and if uh, one team has 70% winning, win, uh, loose ball duels winning, then you have a big problem. This this kind of things we have to change. And if we are not uh, able and you have in, in Cameroon very physical players if you're not able to uh, give it back and to win these duels we will have again a problem so therefore it will be most about this uh, tomorrow Coach, how is the team uh, in terms of injuries? Last time Omija and yeah. Omuro sat out only manage for five, uh, yeah, yeah we, we have still, like last time, you, you're right, Okumo, uh, we didn't want it even to play him because he came back from an injury, he was not fit. And uh, then Omija is still not 100%. So we have uh, Omurva couldn't play because of the injury he had in... in, 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 uh, in uh, in, in Kenya, sorry. So, therefore, it looks like they, it will be possible, but now we have again a problem with Olunga. He will only make warm up. He has some hamstring problems. So, I need to decide this kind of things in the last minute tomorrow. So, there are a lot of questions which I have still now. And 
how do you feel playing uh, behind closed doors with no spectators, no fans? And are you responsible for that decision? So, look, uh, also in the last press conference, somebody said something like this. Even somebody tried to provocate me. And I, let's, I didn't want to talk about it. Let's face the reality. If we talk about fairness, you know that in this group only Cameroon is playing at home? Only Cameroon is playing in front of their fans? Why nobody's talking about this? Huh? If it's really about fairness, it's these questions. If it's really about fairness, why you'd never ask this? So therefore, I think we should close this matter. No, we know why you're playing. Uh, you're not playing at all, because the stadium is under the Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you use the word fairness, then use it in a way where you talk not about uh, uh, what, how profit it's you, then be fair. So and this is not what you are telling now. Because if you would talk about it, then you would say it's not fair that none of these teams playing in their home. It's not fair that none of these teams have any support. Then I would believe you that you are talking about fairness, but you don't do it. What would be the best solution? About what? For, for, for all this, the teams. No, it's, it's a general African problem. It can't be that so many countries in Africa have no uh, stadiums who, where they can play. And there we have to ask ourselves how we use our potential in Africa. If we don't have even a stadium, what we do for our use? Where they will de develop? I have in Kenya not a field to train. So how, with the immense talent we have in Africa, normally, to be honest, normally we had, a long time ago, some, some team had to be world champion from Africa. But if you don't solve these infrastructure problems, the logistic problems, then it will never happen. It's not about the talent or capacity we have in Africa, but these are the basic things which is not done in Africa. As long as we don't do it, we will never have the potential, used potential, to go to the top. This is our reality in Africa, let's be honest about it. Coach, a lot was, a lot was said about uh, Patrick Matasi's performance. Yeah. Uh, is that something that uh, the discussion that has been going with the team maybe uh, on your side? No, we, we win together, we lose together, so uh, I make the decision. If, if any players don't bring the performance which everybody expects, then I have of, of course to react, that's all. So there's nothing we can talk about it anymore. What happened, happened anyway. So Coach, finally... I, I told you also before, Cameroon is one of the biggest in, in, in Africa. They was before and they will be also in 20 years one of the biggest. You have before superstars, you will have also in future superstars. We are in a different position. We are happy if we can go to AFCON. You are happy only if you win the AFCON. So these are details which are the reality of the world. And there's nothing to discuss about it. So and what I like too much is, especially when we go to the match, you see in every corner people with Cameroon shirts. You know, stadium, not only full with people, everybody with Cameroon shirt. And then you see how much you love football. So therefore, it was fast. To be honest, I was jealous about it. Yeah, you know, what should I lie? <laughs> yeah.